Hey everybody, George here. Uh, today what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of testing on one of my backpacker style designs done in LMAX. Uh, so, far, so far I've been highly impressed with this steel and uh, today I'm just going to do some stuff uh, on camera. I'm going to cut some bamboo, cut some leather, cut some paper, kind of see how the edge holds up. So I'll be right back with you when I got my test materials in hand and I will do an initial sharpness test with it before we start cutting anything. Hey y'all, I'm back and what I have here is regular weight copy paper but it is legal size and uh, I'm going to hold it unsupported to show you the sharpness of said blade. Sharp knife. And just to show you that the knife is not going off camera while I grab something else here, uh, I'm going to grab a piece of leather. And we're going to see how easily it goes through the leather. This is wet leather, by the way. I left it out in a chair by accident and it rained on me earlier. I mean, it's just effortless going through the leather. Lay that leather down there. Grab my piece of paper here. Uh-oh. I think I caught the sharpening notch. Oh! Curly Q! Oh, oh, can't let you take your eyes off the knife. Don't want y'all to think I'm taking it off camera and sharpening it or nothing. Uh, have some bamboo. I cut this bamboo bad down in uh, September. So, pretty dried out. Been sitting out, been cut. So, we're going to see how it cuts through the bamboo. running right into that ridge right there. Now, I do think that we did some damage to the edge on the bamboo, but let's grab us a piece of paper here and see think when I ran it into those knots on the bamboo that it actually did it might have rolled the edge a little bit then again it might just be bufunkus I don't know I don't have good that good a vision yep we do I'm trying to figure out whether those are looks like microchips that it may have done I think had I just cut straight through the bamboo and not slammed it into one of these knots right here, that those chips would not have happened. But it seems like they are, let's see if we can change something on the settings right quick so you can see that better. Let's see. Hold on just a minute. We'll be right back when I change the settings on All the right, camera. All right, y'all. I am back. Change the settings. See that right, right in there. You can see them now. That is what happened to the edge running it into the knot. Now, I will tell you that this blade is about 16 thousandths, 15 thousandths 
right behind the edge. I believe that's, if I remember correctly. There we go, there's some focus. And it's got a fairly high relief edge there, if I'm calling that the right thing. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm not, which is just fine. But as you can see, most of the edge is untouched. That may, may be a product of the very thin edge on it, which is highly possible. But thank you all for coming along with this ride. You have seen first, I guess, fairly hard test as far as the bamboo goes on the LMAX steel. And I will change the edge grinder, clean that up a little bit, and we will do some more testing on it. May God bless everything that you put All your right hands guys, to. Y'all take care. Do a little something that I don't uh, advise you doing with a knife. Uh, as far as for self-defense, uh, never throw your weapon. But I'm doing this one just just as some hard testing on this L Max. See if we can put some stress on the tip, some lateral pressure. Uh, if it don't go in the tree, don't laugh too hard. about an inch of penetration. If you'll notice something on this backpacker, uh, well, this backpacker design, I have added a swedge to this blade. Just nice rolled swedge to aid in the penetration. So let's give her a couple more throws. See how it does. Not that much penetration, a little bit less, something like that, somewhere in there. Some more. One more time. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> That one swept a little bit. <laughs> oh gosh, it's in there. <laughs> oh. Now, in case y'all don't know, aren't up on your tree identification, this is a pecan tree, which is a fairly hard wood. Cool. Nice. Now, now it's recording. It wasn't recording before. It wasn't? No. Are you serious? Yeah, because now it's In case you no. all have not figured it out today, I have a cameraman. It's none other than the infamous Grub Cat. We're out here just doing things that red-blooded American men should do. That's right. Throw knives at trees. And try to dodge the chickens. Really? And uh, he was actually sticking it in the tree before I hit record on the camera. <laughs> so I am a witness that it did happen. <laughs> I've done it before. Yeah, we've seen it. you done it with the backpacker in your last uh, two did. videos ago. I did. Really? Well, this is being immortalized, my friend. That's awesome. Oh, and he is throwing the uh, LMAX backpacker with a negative degree angle handle. Torture test. He's getting a lot of practice at it. Yeah. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. How's it looking? Let's look at this tip here. Well, it's got a lot of grass stains on it right now. But I think she's still sharp. Listen. We're too far away. Think? Take a step forward because you need to be a step where it makes one rotation. One rotation. Okay. About right, right there. Yep. Oh, okay. That was, that was better. You can Tip. edit this if you want, man. Huh? You can totally edit this. Oh. It's making it look good. There we go. Yeah. Woohoo. Now if there's an attacker, you just want to say, hey, look. 
Right here. Just don't move. Hold still while I throw my knife rotation. at you. Oh, look at there. This is by no means an instructional video. <laughs> no. Oh. All right. If anything, this is a what not to do for either one of us at this point. <laughs> oh, look, look, it's stuck that. in the ground. Uh. <laughs> well, let's see. There Ooh, let's zoom in on that right there. Look at that. Ooh. As you can see, yeah, we we're definitely uh, getting some boo funkus on there. What do you think? How's the tip look? <laughs> the tip is still completely intact, and uh, we're going to show this as a part of the testing video because that has not done anything to the tip, but yet the. Uh... You see that? Focusing more on your fingers there. Uh, the bamboo actually rolled the edge, but all this going into the pecan has not done anything to it, really. Still nice and sharp on the tip. And everywhere where there's not those little tiny rolls that I showed you earlier, it's still razor sharp. L Max. L Max. It's a great steel, y'all. It's L Awesome. L Awesome? I L agree. L Get You Some. L Max. If you can afford it. L Max. Jack Custom oh, Knives. Oh, by the way, guys, right. this L Max was heat treated for me by Jeff over at True Grit. TrueGrit.com. Yep, TrueGrit.com. True Grit. Guys are awesome. He does great on his heat treat. Great stuff. Check them out. See you guys later. God bless.